hello and welcome back to Sew April. So today is hashtag Friday Sews and I want to thank Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting up the hashtag and as always you can always search in the search bar for hashtag Friday Sews and find a lot of wonderful sewists and you know people with different skills and stuff so it's always nice to get to know new people. So with the Friday Sews, basically you talk about what you sewed, what you plan on working on, and then, you know, life in general. So this week, I um, didn't get a whole lot of sewing done. I'm still kind of under the weather. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Um, but I did finish my husband's Apollo hoodie from Sinclair. And I'll let you know about the little problem I had. And it was user error. So, um, I'll show you the hoodie. Um, of course, it has the hood. And then it has this um, piece right here for the front panel. And uh, there's the pocket. And then I have the band that's a little different. And then we have the camo on the sleeve with that same uh, color cuff that he has on the bottom. I kind of pulled it from the camo. So, yeah, he really, he really likes it. Um, I think it was a little bit too big, but I did size up on it. Um, he's probably more of like a medium or large, and he made an extra large. I did that because he gets super cold, and uh, the nice thing about this is there's actually three panels of material for this center piece right here for the pocket. So I told him, I was like, your man boobs will stay nice and warm. And like I said, I upsized it so that way he could wear a shirt and even another, um, like two shirts and then this over top of it and have plenty of room. So he likes it. He said it's fine. Um, he did say it was a little bit long on the waist which I did make the regular size um, but I don't think it was long at all I think he is forgetting that I usually make stuff that's too short and when he lifts his arms up his shirts usually go up above his belly so or his pants and this wouldn't so this is really good and I like the way this fits on him okay so the problem I did have is I was going to do the little fancy insert of the um, sleeve where it has it color blocked. We have the camo and then you have the black. Well, this is what it looks like. I, I followed the directions and it said to sew it like this. Um, the problem is, for one, like if you can see, like it's tight. Like, I don't know that that ain't going to work at all. And then, I didn't realize, oh, duh, there's not a sleeve cap. And I tried to put this in on the armhole. I thought, okay, the picture shows it like this, and it shows it going in the sleeve. So, I just assumed that this is like where the shoulder is, and then this is the armpit. And I tried to sew it in there, and it did not work at all. And then I tried to like, because it made it real pointy, so then I tried to smooth it out and it was just a mistake. So then I was like, you know what, I will just go ahead and print out another sleeve and another sleeve pattern and just redo the sleeve and I'm glad I did. So it ended up working out. So there's that. And then... I'm working on my um, Augustina bag from Shambhala with Chris from Sew Notes and Sherry from Granny Sewing Room. And okay, I had to make the flap twice already now, so I'm still working on it. But I'll, I had my tension wrong. I threaded my industrial machine wrong because when I use my machine, I use it between woven and with vinyl, and so. I have to switch things out, I have to switch the bobbin, I have to switch the thread, and I threaded it wrong, like m my brain just wasn't working, and I was like, okay, so then it kept nesting on the back when I was trying to 
sew these pieces together and I kept making like holes and holes and then I, I well I had to end up making like cutting another piece of this and then that was the other one and then it ended up not looking good and then I kept messing it up again but here's the back side to show you I've been working on that so my plan this week is to finish up this Augustina bag and um, hopefully next week we'll all have our bags done and then we can do our collab as long as like none of us has any other problems or anything so I'm hoping that we all get that done this week um, but yeah that's that's all and then I also um, I had mentioned that I was going to do a make nine, um, I'll have to make that video soon, but I need to make that video and then, uh, and then I want to make my outfit for my April styles for the end of this month. So, i am just been kind of, I don't know, I've been in like a daze with this like congestion and stuff and it's just it ain't fun y'all <laughs> it is not fun so I did go to Walmart today and I got some material that they had the little bundles and I just couldn't refuse I mean they're all two yards for four bucks I mean come on um and this I thought you know what it's kind of like how this has the texture and I love that so it's really soft and smooth so it's like a heathered gray and then y'all know I'm I'm really into the waffle knit and they had this it's like a burgundy type and oh I just I love the bur waffle and then I got this one for my husband it's a little bit thinner but it's like a camo kind of a look so I figured I'll just make him a nice long sleeve shirt with this so yeah that's all um thought I'd go ahead and try to make it short this week so, y'all have a very blessed weekend, and I hope everybody finds time to sew something, and I will catch you next time. Bye.